what is up how's it going fellow quarantiners you know we're in here and I decided I need to make a video for my YouTube because I haven't done it in a while so I just decided why don't we run through my CD collection I'm a big music nerd if you know anything about me you know that so let's just get it cracking so to start off we got ACDC back in black uh, this is a band that I would say very singles based you know dirty deeds done dirt cheap TNT come to mind. Um, so from the album perspective, I'm not huge on their music, but this is actually one of the very first CDs I ever purchased, so especially for that. Billy Joel, Greatest Hits. Box set, so we have Greatest Hits Volume 1 and Volume 2. All the hits, all the hits. I mean, just looking at the track list here, New York State of Mind, amazing song. Scenes from an Italian Restaurant, an amazing and long song. Uh, just the Way You Are, one of my favorite love songs of all time. On the Good Die Young, Moving Out, and then on the second disc, My Life, Big Shot, You May Be Right, Still Rock and Roll to Me. I mean, come on. It's Billy Joel, man. It's the piano, man. You know what I'm saying? Next, Black Keys, Rubber Factory. This is actually my favorite Black Keys album. I think their more recent stuff has been a little too commercial, a little too... It's not that bluesy sound that the Black Keys and the White Stripes did really well back in the day, so... This right here, favorite Black Keys record. The first two songs are great, and also the song The Lengths is incredible. Black Sabbath, debut Black Sabbath right here. Yeah, if you want to get in the metal, but you like blues or jazz, <laughs> this album rocks. Um, NIB, the title track, The Wizard, Wicked World. They just... <sighs> So good, so good. And so next, we also have Masters of Reality from Black Sabbath. Um, this one is also great, just as great. In fact, I think I prefer this a little bit over the debut, and mainly because it's got the song Sweet Leaf and Children of the Grave. And when you have those two songs, come on. Black Sabbath is such a consistent band. Even when Ozzy left the group, they were still amazing. So that's why I also have Volume 4, which actually has my favorite Black Sabbath song, Point Blank Period, which would be Snowblind. That song is awesome. Ozzy's vocals on that track are out of this world, so give that one a listen. And then we also have Mob Rules, and believe it or not, I've yet to listen to this. I have heard the title track, and I just haven't listened to the rest of it, but this is when Dio was the lead singer, and I do know from the previous record that Dio still kind of kills it, so I'm very excited to give this a full listen. Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. This is a strange one. I never listened to Bon Jovi. I don't know why this is here. I'm going to be completely honest. Let's move on. Now we're getting into the cake. This does not have a cover, but Cake Fashion Nugget. Um, I was a big fan of cake. Saw them live at the Norva, and I still really like cake a lot. I've been going back to their music when I'm just casually doing things like homework, chores, whatever. Um, and this is great. Frank Sinatra, The Distance, <laughs> Race Car Yaya's is one of the most hilarious songs you'll hear from an alternative band, point blank period. Um, this is really good, this is really good. I would recommend it, but it's not my favorite cake record. This right here, Comfort Eagle, I love this album. Opera Singer, Meanwhile Rick James, Shadow Stabbing, amazing, I love Shadow Stabbing. Uh, of course, Short Skirt, Long Jacket, one of their biggest hits. Commissioning a Symphony in C, Long Line of Cars, just all of it, all of it, love that record. Uh, Prolonging the Magic, this is probably my least favorite out of the ones that I've shown so far, um, but it still has Mexico, Satan is my motor, Never There, Never There was a big hit for them, Sheep Go to Heaven, so there still are good tracks on here. Don't let me deter you. This is still a good record, for sure. And it looks like we found the uh, Fashion Nugget case right here, so that's fun. Next, now this is fun, look at that. Childish Gambino, Because of the Internet. This record is awesome, and also is the packaging. Look at this. I mean, how do you even, what do you, whoa, wow, look at that. Yeah, this is a really great record. No Exit, fantastic song. Sweatpants, you already know. Year, uh, not Year 3000, that's a Jonas Brothers song. Uh, 3005, you know. Uh, just really great tracks on here, and also love the concept behind it all. Then it came with a story book kind of thing. This is a pretty wild pretty out there record i do prefer awaken my love but if i need a rapping gambino this is the one i go to as i throw it on the ground 
Um, next, we have a lot of Chris Webby CDs. So we got Bars on Me. We've got There Goes the Neighborhood. We've got Webster's Laboratory, my favorite. We've got Best in the Burbs, another great one. And we also got The Underclassmen. These I all got in a contest a while back when I was a huge Chris Webby fan. I still am. I still think his punchlines are really funny. I don't know if he makes the best songs per se, but I think he has one of the most recitable, I'll know a Chris Webby song and be able to recite it from start to end. Uh, and I mean, on the underclassmen, you have the collab with Mac, I Need a Dollar, rest in peace, Mac Miller. Um, Webster's Laboratory, there's so many quotables on there. There's just so many. So I would recommend it. And also, I forgot to mention, Webster's Laboratory 2. Um, and this one I thought was really cool because it samples a lot of familiar music. For some reason, I have Max burnt copy of Kids in here that I got off of Dat Piff probably back in Lord knows when. But there are a lot of really cool samples of songs from the 90s. The Hamster Dance is one of them. So I would check that out. David Bowie, the David Bowie, Heroes. Great record. The song Heroes, when I heard about how that song was recorded and how the microphone was placed further and further back, that concept just blew my mind at the time, and it still kind of does today. Not my favorite Bowie record, but an essential Bowie record for sure. Really love it. Well, this is a fun one. Duran Duran's Rio. I don't know if I've listened to this all the way through, to be completely honest, but Hungry Like the Wolf is a banger. Thank you very much. And Rio. Her name is Rio. You know, I, I don't want to sing anymore. Forget that happened. Eminem, Marshall Mathers LP 2. I love this record. I know people who don't. I think they are silly. And I think they hate Eminem too much because this is a very enjoyable record. This right here. Yes, this record. I thought the sampling of classic rock songs was great, especially on Rhyme or Reason. I said I wouldn't sing, and I broke that rule probably 30 seconds later. But The Monster, I thought was a good song with Rihanna, which when Eminem and Rihanna link up, I usually don't like it. So that was nice for me. Evil Twin, though. Evil Twin is just... <laughs> that's classic Eminem. Uh, Bad Guy, the sequel to Stan, you know. A lot, of, a lot of good stuff on there. A lot of good stuff. Uh, this, at one point, was one of my favorite albums of all time. And I think it still is, but this might have been, like, my absolute favorite back in the day, if that makes sense. This is Green Day's Dookie. I love how this album has such a wide variety of topics, and they're all awesome. Burnout and Longview about teenage boredom and teenage, I don't want to do that. Welcome to Paradise, talking about a city that you don't want to be in, a place that you don't want to be in, basket case, mental health, chump. I don't know you, but I think I hate you. You're the reason for my misery. That's me memed. Iron Maiden, number of the beast. If you want to get in the metal, once again, this is a great place to start because you have songs such as Number of the Beast, you have Run to the Hills, you have Hallowed Be Thy Name, which is one of the most epic metal songs ever made, and we're going to do one more because we are running out of time, running out of time, um, that's the title of the creator song off of Eager, we have this, this is Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, Moonchild is an epic, epic opener, uh, the Evil That Men Do, Can't Play With Madness, so I will reiterate, Iron Maiden is great when you want to listen to metal. This is part one of my CD collection. We will continue with multiple parts, but we're going to end the video right there. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Stay safe, and I will see you later.